All right, so tonight I just wanted to talk a little bit about photography and why I think it matters and what I think about the parts of it that matter. I was reading an excerpt on a book about photography by a woman named Susan Sontag today and she had a quote that stuck out to me. It said, a way of certifying experience, taking photographs is also a way of refusing it. By limiting experience to search for the photogenic, by converting experience into an image or a souvenir, travel becomes a strategy for accumulating photographs. And you know what, she's absolutely right. And it kind of bothers me that some people will go out and spend thousands of dollars on getting really nice cameras uh, as a way to just document how cool their lives are and then it becomes more about the pictures that they take on the trip than the actual experience of the trip themselves. It's a bit buggy to me how cameras can end up getting in the way of actual real life. So for me, Photography is more about capturing people than it is places and it's really cool to be able to go to somewhere really amazing and be able to show how awesome that place was but to me it's more exciting to be able to show people how awesome my friends are. That's why I started the Black Sheep Project. Uh, was a way to tell stories and to show people that other people are actually really cool and interesting and worth getting to know. Um, that's why most of the pictures that I take and post have people in them because I love people little bit about my photography. Um, I shoot on a Canon 60D and I'd show it to you but it's actually what's recording me right now. It's right there. It's right there. So if you could somehow look back through the screen of your computer you'd see a nice Canon 60D chilling back there. It's uh, recently been replaced by the Canon 70D and I think there's like an 80D now out there that's basically the same thing but a ramped up. So this thing's basically a dinosaur at this point but I still use it because it takes great stuff. Um, my favorite lens to shoot on is this one. Uh, this is a Canon 50mm 1.4 aperture lens. It's uh, only costs about $400 which might sound crazy to some of you guys but as far as most lenses go that's uh, pretty much the bottom of the price range. I've started to notice that eyes are the most important part of photography um, especially if you're taking pictures of people. Uh, that's why pictures like this picture or this picture or this picture pop so much. It's because I really wanted to make sure that I got the shot with their eyes open the widest um, so that you could really see into the person. So I think I would agree with Susan that cameras do tend to get in the way of things and in between you and the experience that you're trying to have, but it also ends up creating a lot of value exper- But it also ends up creating a lot of val- But it also ends up creating a lot of valuable experiences that you wouldn't have if you weren't taking those pictures already. It allows you to tell your story in a more visual way. And for me, and other people like me who are visual learners, we need stuff like that to be able to show us how the world is because I could listen to you blabber on all day but I really won't pay attention to most of the words you say unless you have some kind of cool picture graph to go with it. So those are my thoughts and what I think about photography but if you have any questions or would like to know anything else about my camera or whatever else you want to know, uh, hit me up. I'd love to chat with you about it. Amen. Good night.